Hi guys, it's me, the Witch of Boise, and I'm here to do another general reading video. If you hear some background noise, it's just my cat freaking out in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe, also comment below, tell me if any of this resonates with you. Again, this is a general reading, so if it does resonate with you, woo, I'm super stoked! If it doesn't resonate with you, well, I'm very sorry, but... I do have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel that you can definitely go and watch and see if any of those messages resonate with you as well. Um, also, if love becomes a part of the reading today, my default is reading to a female about a male, so pronouns are interchangeable. He's can be she's, she's can be he's, he, he, she, she, them or they, whatever is going on in your life. Let's get started. I am so excited, guys. I just, I just feel really good. I feel a really good energy. So we're going to first start off with any, before anything else, um, is my medicine cards. These are a really good energy kind of read before I do anything. I love doing these. I, I use them a lot on my, um, on my pick of cards. And that's too many. Um, I just love this deck. And it's just, it's so accurate too with the energies. So, all right. <laughs> I totally feel this way. We got number 26, which is squirrel. Okay, what does Squirrel have to say? Because I'm feeling squirrely. <laughs> All right. If, the, if Squirrel has scurried into your cards today, it may be that you're being told to honor your future by readying yourself for change. The message can be to lighten your load if you have gathered too many things that do not serve you. These things include thoughts, worries, pressures, stresses, or gadgets that you have been broken for years. In understanding the balance in gathering, you need to look at the idea of circulating the stock of what you have gathered. Call the nearest thrift store and give the gadgets to someone who can benefit from them. If something no longer grows corn for you, then it is time to let it go. Squirrel has another lesson that can aid you if you observe what is obvious and which can prepare you for anything. It has to do with the safe place in which you put your gatherings. The safe place is an untroubled heart and mind, and that which can be gathered, that which is gathered to put in this place is wisdom and caring. The, the energies gathered will set your mind and heart free so that you will know that all will be taken care of in its own time. Apply this to your fears about the future and they will vanish. Very cool. So I was gonna put that back. <laughs> that's a really cool reading like that's or energy. So it's like gathering and and, and finding what's important and like what to prioritize too. That's really cool. Okay, so we're gonna do our Witch's Tarot. Let's see if it wants to talk. Pretty quiet, so see that snag? <laughs> okay, so I am going to do, I'm going to cut the deck three more times. So it's going to be a total of four cards. So our first card is the Two of Pentacles. Our second card is the Three of Pentacles. And then we have the world in reverse. And then lastly, we have the Five of Pentacles. 
Okay. So, wow. Okay. I'm going to cut this deck. This is the A.E. Wyatt um, card deck. Tarot deck. Okay, so for the two pentacles, though, that it's very much squirrely energy. Um, oh, I can't grab this. Ah, hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. I am... Ugh. <laughs> I'm too squirrely right now. So with the two pentacles energy, that is... Um, a really like a multitasking like you have a lot of stuff on your plate but you're making it work it's a balance and so um, I feel like that's kind of where the squirrel is saying where it's you have a lot of stuff that's already on your plate and you need to really figure out what is worth it what isn't okay so we're gonna do our clarifying cards whoa that's crazy so clarifying your two of pentacles is justice in reverse whoa here's the second card and then three of pentacles is the world in reverse the world in reverse is judgment in reverse wow and then five of pentacles and strength in reverse okay so this, I just was talking about how this is balanced and that you're trying to balance things. Well, there is a huge imbalance that's going on right now. So it is, you are holding too much stuff. Like you are having too much, too many things going on in your life. And this can be like work related. This can be relationships. It can be any, anything that's like that, where um, it's starting to really affect you and you are you have too much that's on your plate and you really need to um, get that in line um, especially with this justice in reverse this is just really saying that there is a really big imbalance right now and um, with justice too this can be like with legal matters this can be something that is like maybe child care or um, something that has to do with maybe an ex spouse, something that is like that, that has to do with maybe what the divorce is saying and it's too many things. And it's just, there's a lot that's on your plate and it's really just time to like sit down and, um, organize your thoughts and get what is important. So then we're going to the three of pentacles and three of pentacles is all about working together and working as a team. Um, it, the traditional um, imagery, it has two monks and a person and another person that is building a chapel that is building a monastery. So um, it's working together in order for the, for the greater good and to um, finish a project. Now, it feels like you've been working and working and working and it's not over yet. I think that you're wanting it to be over. You're wanting this hard work. You've just been da 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 da, -da. With the world in reverse, it's not over yet. And you might even feel like there might be a project that's at work that is over and it's not. So um, don't start to celebrate. Don't start to say, oh, it's over and done with you don't have to worry about it well it's not quite yet <laughs> um now we have the world in reverse and this is just that is like the biggest message of the world in reverse is it's not over yet so it feels like something has been um in finality and it's not so this can be a relationship. This can be um, something that's at work. This can be anything. Something that you, and it's, it's a big deal because this is a major arcana that you really felt that was, you, it was over. But now with the judgment in reverse, this is that with, because judgment upright is like karma. 
this is like the balancing act. I feel like a lot of times it's a lot like justice, but this is in a more karmic sense. And karma hasn't caught up to the situation. So the world in reverse is it's not over. And this might even feel like a defeat just because of the next card. Or it feels like barren and that you're out in the cold. But karma hasn't caught up to this situation. Um, karma's always in play. But sometimes it just takes a little bit longer for it to catch up to what we're doing, you know? Um, the last card is the Five of Pentacles. Now, this is a card. This can be pregnancy as well. Um... But this is a card of barrenness. So you have this barren tree that's out in the middle of the of like the tundra, it seems like. And it just looks barren and dead. And there's those five pentacles. But look what's popping out of the snow. It's a little beautiful flower. And it's reminding us that it's not going to always be winter. So spring is coming. So you might be feeling like you're crunched with money issues, especially if you are prioritizing with um, different things at work or um, money issues, maybe budgeting, that kind of thing. And it feels like you're in this like barrenness of like, how am I gonna make this work? But it's not going to last forever. And I think with the world in reverse, it's not over yet either, but spring is coming. And with strength in reverse, I do feel like there is some sort of despair in this, in this feeling of um, like you can't do this anymore, that you can't, it's like, it's not saying that... Um, you're going to do anything rash, which I hope you aren't, but it's just that, like, I can't do this anymore. Like, you're just really fed up with the situation and you don't think that you have the strength to do it. And it feels like you've been having this strength for so long and sometimes you're just like, I just want to rest, you know? I just don't want to fight anymore and I don't want to be strong. And it's actually really interesting because... The, I was watching this video last night and it was about um, women, woman strength and the weakest a woman can be is requiring a um, significant other or someone else to provide for them and that they won't do anything. So it's like not picking up any sort of skills, just like letting someone else pretty much guide their life. Then you have a step up, which is the strong woman, the woman that doesn't ask for help that doesn't want you to help because she is, I can do this, I don't need you. And then the, the up woman, the highest a woman can be, is the one that can ask for help, not because they actually need it, but they want others to feel needed. So it was really kind of an interesting because I'm definitely the middle. Like, I don't like people um, doing stuff for me. I don't like it because <laughs> I'm like, I can do this. I'm sufficient. And once I heard it where it's just like, especially, oh my gosh, these cards. But especially getting to that moment of like an aha moment of like, yeah, people need to be, feel like they're needed. They need to feel wanted. And that's a way of doing it where it's not necessarily like you don't need it, but it's showing other people that they're worth it. It was a really good, and that's kind of like the same energy of this, where it's, 
You need to let go of that strength of, I can do this. I can do this all myself. I don't need you. You need to really start to focus on your community as well. Now, we have river movement. I feel like there is a movement that's going on right now. There, and I've been feeling this for the past month where it's just a really good movement. Um, I don't feel like a lot of stagnant energy. And I just feel, especially with this squirrely energy, it's just movement. It's movement, moving forward, moving out of this funk. And then we have dragonfly, which is emergence. This is such a beautiful energy. And this is actually when I was doing um, ruins for um, New Year's. This was my um, animal ruin for the year was dragonfly. And it, emergence, where it's you're emerging into things. And how this and, and emerging into like your own self, into your higher power. Um, and in this imagery this woman is coming out from the water and there's a bunch of you know dragonflies and um it looks like a pond which is river you know the water um but whenever i see like water that's like that in oracle cards or in tarot cards that is the emergence to the spirit world as well into spiritual bounds and the other dimension and and really emerging yourself into that into that spirituality and it feels like that is really what's going to be happening too is all of this money stuff is going on and it does feel like it's money but you're going to get this emergence into the spiritual world and it's going to be like why was i worried about this you know it's just it's really going to come together and then we have love, compassion. This is a creepy card to me because I've had really weird stuff um, happen with the love and compassion. But this, you should be going forward in this reading knowing that you are surrounded by love. And so any sort of issue or problem that you may be going through in any imbalance or something that you're like, oh. I need this to be over with and it's not over with you're surrounded by love and compassion and so you need to make sure that you show yourself love and compassion as well because you know your 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 vessel your soul you have to live with yourself you know Ooh. So we have Maeve, which is cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. So I feel like there is this movement and like the squirrely energy and this like da 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 da. And then it's going to start to slow down. And then it's going to be that like up and down kind of thing where you don't want to be a hun going a hundred. <laughs> every single day and you need to listen to your body and listen to your mind and listen to your spirit if you need to like back off on something then back off on it that's what's happening right now with that two of pentacles you're trying to do it all and you know you can you you definitely can but is it worth it is it worth it for your spirit and for your soul to get it all done right now I mean, it's not just like push it off and never do it, but prioritize it. Then we have Athena, which is inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Now, this is, it's trusting your intuition on things. Really trust what's going on. And if something doesn't feel right, again, with that balancing act, it's not worth it. Then we have Ishtar, which is boundaries. I love this card. Love yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your time and energy. So again, this is that imbalance. You're trying to do, you're trying to be the like superhero. I can do it all. I don't need your help. Like, <laughs> and it's time 
to build those boundaries and it's time to ask for help or, you know, delay a project so you can get more important stuff done. And then Donna, which is High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. This is a gorgeous card. And actually, it kind of gives me the little bit of the willies because we have divine knowledge. And divine and spirit have been really, divine and spirit have been really coming through to me and have really been everywhere. I've been seeing that so much lately. And um, it's going hand in hand with this Athena too. It's trusting your intuition. It's that high priestess energy. Um, it's a gorgeous energy and it, it is just trusting your intuition and trust yourself. All right, and that was the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards. And the cards before that were um, Earth Magic. And this is the Isis Oracle, the Pocket Edition, which I love this. I wish more Oracle cards were like this because you can really just like pack them to go. They're easy to shuffle and then their explanations just on the back too. I like that. Okay. So you got the flower, let's see, all right, the flower of life. You are entering a fertile period of your life. You're guided to think of yourself as a creative being to surrender over control how things will manifest and instead allow them to do so. Don't resist change. Instead, go with the flow and let it happen. Now is the time for your blossoming. Okay. Now is the time for your blossoming. So it's, it feels like that there's a lot of like control that's going on where you need to control something. I understand this. I am a lot. <laughs> I do that a lot where I have to be in control of certain things and I am can be a little bit neurotic in that sense and do other things that I can control, especially if my surroundings aren't being controlled. So that's a really powerful um, message. And then we have soul retrieval. Isis healing goddess now offers you spiritual restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval, reclaiming pieces you lost through trauma old and new. Soon you will enjoy greater wellness, energy, and power. So be willing to go through the healing process knowing that any emotional clearing taking place is leading you to wholeness. Okay, this is squirrel energy. This is that is crazy. This is like clearing out your spiritual energy, getting rid of your trauma, old and new, and yeah, emotional clearing taking place, leading you to wholeness. And that's what this feels like. It feels like that there's a lot that's going on. You really need to prioritize. Um, it's not over yet. It's not. And it's time to just really focus on um, just making sure that you are good, you know, that you have the boundaries, that you are love. And that's all you have to do is just start loving yourself. And if you need to start every day, just I am love. That's it. And you can just radiate it, you know. But it feels like there's big stuff that's coming your way. And just make sure that you just listen to your body. Listen to your intuition. And make sure that you have boundaries in place. Because big things are going to be happening. Wow. That is such a great reading. Oh my gosh. Alright guys. That is it. Make sure you do like this video. Hit subscribe. Also comment below, tell me if any of this resonates with you. I just wanna thank you so much for watching and for supporting me and um, I just love all of you guys. And I 
I hope that you do like these general reads. I like doing them. I enjoy doing them. Um, I don't feel like I'm rushed or anything like that to um, actually just, you know, just do cool readings. All right, guys. Well, thank you again for watching. Make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe, also comment below and um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is at Witch of Boise and um, on Facebook. And that is Witch Boise. And um, yeah, just thank you so much for your support. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye.